Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jung. We're still in New York City at the Model Off World Competition uh, Finals. Here we have Martine again with some average multiple criteria. This is a great trick. Watch how fast he uses the keyboard. Um, yeah, what well, one trick I've come across is when you want to use more than one criteria, you can really use some if or uh, median if some of the other criteria formulas. But some product actually solves this. So what it does, and I've got some data here. This is just an array with um, dates, amounts, and then count, which I need to cut the average. So what some product does is, if you put in a criteria, it looks at it as a factor and returns either a one or a zero. So the, the syntax here is quite important. What you need to do is um, have two brackets, select your date range, and say, for instance, this is larger than my first day. And you so this is going to look up um, this value, D3, D2, in this array. And it's going to see if it's larger. If it's larger, it's going to return a 1. If it's not larger, it's going to return a 0. Okay. So you need to multiply this by your second criteria, which is very similar. It's again the same array. I should have hit 4, which is smaller than your second day. And this, you multiply by the amounts you're interested in. Now you need to close some product for one. This gives you some 522. Let me fix this. I should have done it initially. So this just simply sums all the amounts. If you want to get the average, which is much more insightful, what I do is just add another column with counts, which is just once. Apply exact same formula to this. You're just gonna sum the number of, of you know, we're count this one. Hey, how did you, wait, how'd you get that formula over there? Did you copy and paste somehow? Uh, no, just hit Control R. Control R to move to the right. Hey, that's yeah. a hot tip right there. Okay. Control R, and the only I fixed all the formulas. The only one I have to to change, and I, I you know, I, I could have made that a relative reference, but I didn't this this time. Just move that. I'll just note that you touched the mouse there, which is a cardinal sin, but okay. I'll, well, I'll, I'll I feel, I, I mean, usually I don't like using the mouse, but this is actually one of the occasions where the mouse is pretty useful. If you've got a formula, you open your formula, and you just want to move the entire array. It's yep. actually quite useful to use the mouse, and I think it's faster than using the keyboard and typing it again. Okay, that's good. Now, this probably the model off world finals are the only place where we could get into this esoteric discussion about the sum product. The help file for some products is that you have to separate each of those by a comma, but you're using a multiplication sign, and I understand why you're doing it. That's the right way to do it, at least in my book. There's a lot of people, though, who put commas and then put minus, minus between each one, um, but I think the multiplication is the hot way to go. The multiplication actually I switches think those over to zeros. Yeah, I mean, it does something else, right? If you use the multiplication, it looks at at um, the criteria as a factor, which is what you need. Right, for, for it changes it to binary. It changes it from true, false to actual zeros and ones. Yeah. So using the multiplication is the way that I like to go. So uh, I'm going to give you a point for that because that was the, uh, the hot, hot thing. Okay. All right, yeah, so hey, uh, check out the uh, Model Off World Finals. Uh, it, you can enter next year for 2013. Uh, first two rounds are at your desk, and then it, if you do well, you'll win a trip to New York City. It's an amazing, amazing competition. All right, we'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.